Well, we now know how schools across the state performed last year. Schools received their grades and overall the state saw some improvements in the scores. News Channel 8's Trevor Sahaki live in Tampa this morning, breaking down how our area schools did. Good morning, Trevor. Good morning. These school grades were good news for both Pinellas and Hillsborough counties as Pinellas County received its first ever district wide A grade and schools like West Tampa Elementary were one of many in Hillsborough County that improved this year as well, going from a C to an A. In this past school year's grades, Hillsborough County had a steep decrease in the number of D and F rated schools after having the most across the state last year. In a statement, Superintendent Van Ayers wrote, we are excited with our momentum and are ready for the new year to start so we can continue our work. Pinellas had no D or F rated schools for the first time. Superintendent Kevin Hendrick wrote in a statement, the excellence of our amazing students continues to elevate because of the work in our classrooms, schools and district offices. And while Pasco County remained at a B grade, it had no F rated schools, but it did have more than a dozen schools drop grades. In Hernando County, no district schools were graded below a C and several moved up a letter. In a statement, the assistant superintendent congratulated the district and wrote, quote, school teams will be diving deep into their results to find opportunities to improve. Across the Bay Area, Sarasota and Pinellas counties got A grades, Hillsborough, Hernando, Manatee and Pasco counties got a B grade, and Citrus, Hardy, Highlands and Polk counties got a C grade. This comes after the state changed its testing model two years ago and established a baseline last year. The state now tests students three times a year instead of once a year, which the Florida Department of Education attributed to the better scores. Schools that get an A grade or show and sustain improvement are eligible for school recognition. That means bonuses for each full-time student that they can use to pay teachers and staff or buy equipment. And across the state this year, 64% of schools received either an A or a B grade. That's above the 57% that they received last year. And less than 4% of schools received a D or an F grade. Live in Tampa, Trevor Sahaki, 8 on your side.